Hey YouTube, we are back again, and I wanted to show you what we're getting ready to do with the DIY DeWalt the kit speaker build. And you can see I've glued in the boxes. Um, I am going to still run more around the outside of these boxes to cock up all the outside, and maybe even throw some spray paint in, I'm not sure. If you do notice, I do have these clamped down with a piece of wood. Um, one of the clamps just fell off. I just noticed it was loose, so I'll reclamp that here in a second. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to put these speakers in here. And two things. First, you'll notice that most of these speakers are now pretty well cut out. Now, they're not perfect. Um, and the reason that they're not perfect um, is the plastic splinters a little bit. You just take a utility knife and we'll just cut around the edge out there, especially if any of it's sticking up. You want to make sure that that is that the speaker can sit flush. So you're going to just go around that. We're going to put these speakers in. And when we put these in, we're going to screw the screw holes in. We're going to make sure they're straight as they can be. And we're going to mark with a drill bit and screw the, some pilot holes in to make sure that the screws can go in there. The reason why we're clamping it is although the glue will hold it in place, it will not hold it for pressure. And so we are actually using a 3 32nd drill bit and we're using number six screws and we're gonna use three quarter inch screws and we're gonna mount the two on the back and then we're also gonna mount the two on the front. And these same screws and same drill bit will be used for the high by woofer when it comes in. Unfortunately, that's not in yet. And, um, and so we're going to at least start wiring these and cutting out the hole for the port. Uh, but that's going to be the basics of what you need to do in order to make sure the boxes stay in place. Once again, the reason why we use these boxes, I just want to reiterate the reason why we're using internal boxes for each one of these little speakers is because that size box is the right size internal volume for the sound that we're trying to reproduce. Now, the sound that we're trying to reproduce is down to 200 hertz, okay? And so we want good sound to 200 hertz. I use a program called WinISD, which allows me to model the low end frequency to what I can get with this, and the best usable frequency that I could find per size was about 0.7 cubic feet point I'm sorry point zero zero seven cubic feet boxes for these little speakers so without further ado let's get started all right guys I went ahead and got the first screw in a couple things I want to show you um, with that first screw I do drill the hole and then I put the screw in the reason why I do that is to make sure it doesn't move while I put the next screw hole in you'll see a lot of people screw all the screw holes in then they go to drill it in and they'll realize oh one was a little off well you'll negate doing that by you know once you drill one in going ahead and putting the screw in one thing i do want to remind you is when doing this don't push down really hard on the drill if you push down really hard on the drill as soon as you go through that that layer of mdf which is only a quarter inch thick your drill is going to go right on down you're going to damage the speaker so just go very gently and very slowly until until you're through all right, once I finish with all eight of these, I will show you what that looks like. All right, guys, I just want to show you this. I got both screws in. Once you get the two screws in, you can go ahead and, and drill both these screw holes without having to worry about it moving. It shouldn't, at least with number six screws, because number six screws grab onto that, and they have to drill into the plastic a little. Um, I chose number six because of that, so that helps. Um, and I'm just using three-quarter inch length, okay, so nothing too crazy you could you could use a half inch as well and you'd be fine um and uh and then we'll get this speaker done and i'll show you what that looks like all right thanks guys okay guys here it is with the speakers installed you're going to notice that all of the screws are in there on each one of uh these speakers each one is in their individual box from the outside you can't tell that but from the inside you can um and the same with the back all right, this is a bipolar speaker seize. One thing I do want to warn you about with the screws real quick, when you screw these in, screw them in nice and easy. Don't just put it on full choke and just zoom right in. If so, you're, you're bound to strip out the wood and you don't want to do that. You can fix that, but it's, it's a pain to do. So just try to be smart about it and go in very gently. Um, and we'll, we will have the high vi woofer and it'll, it'll be right here in the front 
when we finally get to that. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and we will see you soon.